Hey guys, it's Eternal Codes here with another video, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use your Xbox 360 controller on your Windows PC. So first you go to the links that I put in the description, depending on what you want to use. I'll have them as Xbox 360 wired controller, Xbox 360 wireless controller, or Xbox One controller. So there's the Xbox 360 wired. You just choose your operating system, Windows 7, 32, 64, all this. So I'll have 64, your language, and then that's the download. You just click download, and it starts downloading. I already have it installed, so I'll cancel that. And then there's also wireless. Do the same thing here. You just basically just do the same thing. Choose your operating system, language, and then just click download. And then for Xbox One controller, you just click right here, download PC drivers for your Xbox One wireless controller. And then it'll show you how to connect an Xbox One wireless controller to a PC right here. So that's about it. It's really easy. Once you download it, you should install it and run it. And then you'll have Microsoft Xbox 360 accessories status. And then this would pop up once you click on that. Or once you plug in your Xbox 360 controller. I'll plug in mine right now. Once you plug it in, the guide button should show up and show that you've connected it. And it should have a little player one right there. So plug it in and then if you click the guide button that pops up so as you see I have it plugged in and you click the guide button there's one so this does work for multiple controllers so if you're playing a game that has split screen you can have two controllers three four you can have up to four controllers connected so if you're playing Rocket League or something and you want to play split screen you can have up to four controllers connected here, if you just click on it, it gives you the help tab, like how it says right there, and it gives you right here, three device connected, this tells you the devices, and then the charge, if you're using a wireless controller, it tells you the battery, and then that shows you that you've disconnected it. So, this only pops up when you're on your desktop. So if you're gaming, you're playing Rocket League or something with the controller, you click the guide button, it won't show up in front of it. It'll only show up if you're on the desktop. So there's that. And apparently you can have a maximum of four headsets in any combination of wired or wireless. It shows it doesn't show any diff, uh, information for headset connections, but apparently you can have headsets so you can have them plugged into your controller. And then that's about it guys for this video. You just it's really easy. You just click on it. Click on the link whichever one you need wired wireless xbox one download and install run it and then just that's it you just plug in your controller and you're good to go so thanks for watching guys comment rate and subscribe that's about it for this video but i am starting to stream a little on twitch so i'll have my twitch down in the description just in case if any of you guys want to check that out uh that's about it thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe peace